Hello everyone, my name is Katie Martin and today we will look at four factors that are proven to lead to employee job satisfaction, or if they are lacking at a company, they can lead to great job dissatisfaction. I hope this insight will give you an excellent foundation as you perhaps enter into a leadership role yourself and ensure your own employees remain productive and loyal to you and to your organization. First, what is job satisfaction? Job satisfaction is simply a positive feeling about one's job. You likely have had jobs that you really enjoyed going to each day. On the flip side, you likely have had a job that you didn't enjoy going to each day. And if you haven't, unfortunately, you probably will at some point in your career. But what brings job satisfaction? We will refer to the expert knowledge of Stephen Robbins and Timothy Judge, authors of the leading organizational behavior book. Robbins and Judge have determined that the first factor leading to job satisfaction is the conditions surrounding a job, or more simply put, job conditions. Jobs that lead to high job satisfaction are those that are interesting and provide training, variety, and independence. Other job conditions that bring great job satisfaction are those in which management empowers employees and companies that offer feedback, social support, and interaction. The, leading, the second leading factor that brings job satisfaction is personality. Robbins and Judge say those who believe in their inner worth and competence in their job role are more satisfied in their jobs. They feel they are doing a good job and making a difference. The third factor presented in our text today relating to job satisfaction is pay. You may have thought that pay would have been the first factor. Pay is something that it's often negotiated before one even begins a job. Robbins and Judge say that while pay is important, once someone reaches a certain level of comfortable living, the importance is still great, but it's not the number one factor anymore. Finally, the fourth and final factor we will discuss today regarding job satisfaction is corporate social responsibility. In other words, employees today want to know their organizations are a benefit to society beyond what's just required. This factor is particularly strong among our increasing millennial workforce. If you want to keep these employees and keep them satisfied, develop a corporate social responsibility program and make sure your employees know about it. In fact, you can even have your employees weigh in on what's important to them. Ask them to vote on how and when philanthropic dollars will be used each year. Have them help decide where your company will have an employee work day and show them how the company is benefiting the community at large. There are not many things that the public's corporation does not do well. Their corporate responsibility program is no exception. One way they encourage their employees to give back is by gathering together each year for a public serves day to get their hands dirty for an organization in need. These employees are taking a personal day off to gather, to do things like painting, sodding, filling backpacks with food, and more for local nonprofits. Another tangible way companies are measuring job satisfaction, or more specifically in this case, job engagement, is through the Gallup Q12 survey. This is a survey I took recently at a job, and it and it measures how engaged and thus really how happy millions of employees are in their work and with the workplace. The questions are tied to how often employees are absent, how engaged they are in work, the organizational outcomes, retention rates, and more. The survey shows that the employees that are most engaged, and you might wanna write these down because truly, these employees are the ones that are most engaged. They're the ones that know what's expected of them at work. They have the materials to do their work right. They have the opportunity to do what they do best every day. They regularly receive recognition or praise for doing good work. They believe their supervisor or someone at work cares about them as a person. They are encouraged by someone at work to grow and develop their skills. They know their opinion counts, and they think of their job as important. 
They also believe their fellow employees are committed to doing quality work. And they have at least one colleague at work in which they can confide in. If it's your goal to be the leader of an organization or a manager of employees, be sure to intentionally focus on making your work environment one that fosters job satisfaction. It is much easier and much more cost effective to retain wonderful employees for a long period of time than to continue to recruit employees after other employees have left because your organization lacks job satisfaction. Also, those who are satisfied in their job will lead your organization to incredible outcomes and success.